Waging the war on terror, guarding the border, beating back wildfires, never has so much been asked of California's citizen army. We're everywhere and we're called upon so often. But the state, now arguably demanding the most from its National Guard, is giving back the least. California is the only state that offers no educational benefit to Guard members. I've had to take out several student loans uh, to assist, even though I do work full time. Private first class Scott Four is a community college student, balancing classes with guard duty and a civilian job, and struggling to pay bills. Only by the help of my wife, <laughs> definitely. Um, it's very difficult. Now Four is facing a new challenge. Duty in Iraq is part of the largest deployment of National Guard troops from California since the Korean War. These are young men and women who particularly now are being called upon to go, uh, go in harm's way. They're sacrificing a lot. And an education benefit seems a very reasonable and minor thing to offer them. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger says some $3.3 million a year would about cover it. But this year, lawmakers strapped by a huge budget shortfall appear to have doomed a funding bill. Guard leaders hope the governor may still muscle it through. Uh, we're losing qualified members to other states that have better state-sponsored benefits package. Major Tom Keegan says California's National Guard has a high turnover rate of about 20 percent and that guard surveys suggest more than 70 percent of members would serve longer if there was an educational benefit. These are some of the best people I've ever met. Jill Jamgochian is one of them. The public affairs specialist who served in Kosovo and on California's fire lines will leave the guard next month to figure out how to pay for her higher education. This is not a full-time job for me. I'm competing for a civilian job with people with multiple degrees. Some state lawmakers argue the federal government should pay college costs for Guard members. But federal benefits only cover members who've served abroad or on federal missions. And that leaves both those battling California's natural disasters and those standing by to serve without help. Cara Finstrom for CNN, Los Angeles.